Ballad Number Eight of the Bab Ballads by W. S. Gilbert, read for LibriVox.org by Graham Redman. Haunted. Haunted, I in a social way by a body of ghosts in dread array, but no conventional spectres they, appalling, grim, and tricky. I quail at mine as I'd never quail at a fine traditional spectre pale, with a turnip head and a ghostly wail, and a splash of blood on the dicky. Mine are horrible social ghosts, speeches and women and guests and hosts, weddings and morning calls and toasts, in every bad variety. Ghosts who hover about the grave Of all that's manly, free, and brave. You'll find their names on the architrave Of that charnel-house society. Black Monday, black as its schoolroom ink, With its dismal boys that snivel and think Of its nauseous messes to eat and drink, And its frozen tank to wash in. That was the first that brought me grief, and made me weep till I sought relief in an emblematical handkerchief to choke such baby bosh in. First and worst in the grim array, ghosts of ghosts that have gone their way, which I wouldn't revive for a single day, for all the wealth of Plutus, are the horrible ghosts that school days scared. If the classical ghost that Brutus dared was the ghost of his Caesar unprepared, I'm sure I pity Brutus. I passed a critical seventeen, the ghost of that terrible wedding scene, when an elderly colonel stole my queen and woke my dream of heaven. No schoolgirl decked in her nurse-room curls was my gushing innocent queen of pearls, if she wasn't a girl of a thousand girls, she was one of forty-seven. I see the ghost of my first cigar, of the thence arising family jar, of my maiden brief. I was at the bar, and I called the judge a wash-up, of reckless days and reckless nights, with wrenched-off knockers, extinguished lights, unholy songs and tipsy fights, which I strove in vain to hush up. Ghosts of fraudulent joint-stock banks, ghosts of copy declined with thanks, of novels returned in endless ranks, and thousands more I suffer. The only line to fitly grace my humble tomb when I've run my race is, Reader, this is the resting place of an unsuccessful duffer. I fought them all, these ghosts of mine, but the weapons I've used are size and brine. And now that I'm nearly forty-nine, old age is my chiefest bogey. For my hair is thinning away at the crown, and the silver fights with the worn-out brown, and a general verdict sets me down as an irreclaimable fogey. End of Ballad Number 8 Haunted from the Bab Ballads. This recording is in the public domain.